calculation of mass, we need to find the mass of the tetrahedron bounded by the coordinate planes and the plane x over a plus y over b plus z over c equal to 1 and the variable density is given to us as rho is equal to k x y z where k is constant. If you look at here, there is a very beautiful image of the tetrahedron OABC, which is bounded by the planes x over a plus y over b plus z over c equal to 1 and x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. These are the coordinate planes x equal to 0 means y z plane this one and y equal to 0 means x z plane this one and z equal to 0 means x y plane this one So this is z equal to 0 plane and this is x equal to 0 plane and this is plane y equal to 0. Now let me join these points named as A, B and C. Let this is the distance A from the origin on the x-axis to the point A and this is the distance B from the origin to the point B and this is the distance C from the origin to the point C. Okay, let's move on to the limits and because it is a triple integration, so the limits of the innermost integral should be in two variables and the limits for the outermost integral should be constants, right? So I have to choose any one of these variables x, y, z so that the limits for the innermost integral in the form of two variables. So let me choose this x first, right? So for the whole volume of this tetrahedron, x varies from 0 to, yes? From this equation, I get x equal to 1 minus z over c minus y over b into a. So these are the limits of x, which is in the two variables y and z. And then the limit of y. Okay, how can I get the limit for y in one variable? I have to choose one plane, right? Because this tetrahedron is bounded by plane x equal to 0, y equal to 0, and z equal to 0. So let me choose the yz plane, this one, right? And the value of y on this yz plane is yes on the yz plane x is equal to 0 right so putting x equal to 0 here I get y equal to yes 1 minus z over c into b so this is how I get the value of y in the form of one variable that is z. So y varies from the origin 0 to this b into 1 minus z over c. Fine. And at last for the outermost integral, the limits of z should be constants. So it is very easy to notice here that the limits of z on the z-axis varies from 0 to c. Simple, right? Okay. So putting the limits of x first, that is from 0 to, yes, a into 1 minus z over c minus y over b. And the limits of y from 0 to, yes, b into 1 minus z over c. And limits of z from 0 to c. And then the integrand is rho. So this is equal to, yes, 
just put the value of rho over here that is given to us as k x y z and now integrating this integrand with respect to x first so for that y and z are constant k is already constant so this is equal to this double integration k y z all right the integration for x is x square over 2 and then the limits from 0 to a into 1 minus z over c minus y over b. 0 to c and 0 to b into 1 minus z over c k y z over 2. Putting the upper limit over here I get a square into 1 minus z over c minus y over b whole square dy dz just take this together and open the square we get from 0 to c and 0 to b into 1 minus z over c yes this is k a square z over 2 y just open the square a square plus b square minus twice a b the formula is used now here so this is 1 minus z over c this is square plus y over b whole square and minus twice 1 minus z over c into y over b dy dz so this is 1 minus z over c whole square into y plus this is y cube over b square and this is twice of 1 minus z over c y square over b dy dz taking this k is square by 2 totally outside and integration from 0 to c let's start integrating this with respect to y writing z outside so this is 1 minus z over c whole square y square over 2 this will become y to the power 4 over 4b square and then this is twice 1 minus z over c y cube over 3b and the limits from 0 to b into 1 minus z over c dx sorry dz so this is k a square over 2 from 0 to c putting the upper limit here now z okay when you put upper limit over here i get that is b into 1 minus z over c from here i'm already having 1 minus z by c whole square and by putting the upper limit, I again get 1 minus z over c whole square. So that will be 1 minus z over c to the power 4 into b square over 2 plus this will give me 1 minus z over c to the power 4 again into b to the power 4 over 4b square minus twice. This is again 1 minus z over c to the power 4 into b cube over 3b dz. Let me cancel this b term. This will become b square by 4. And this will become b square over 3. Right. And taking this 1 minus z by c to the power 4 completely common from this. So this is equal to k a square over 2 from 0 to c. Taking 1 minus z over c to the power 4 outside as common term. And we will be having b square by 2 plus b square by 4. And then minus twice b square by 3. dz. 
taking this b square common so this is k a square b square over 2 0 to c z 1 minus z over c to the power 4 simplifying this i get into 1 over 12 dz so this is equal to taking this 12 outside this is k a square b square over this will become 24 from 0 to c z into 1 minus z over c to the power 4 dz to make it more easier let me put z is equal to c sine square theta and dz is equal to 2c sine of theta cos of theta d theta and when z tends to 0 i get theta tends to 0 and for z tending to c i get theta tending to pi over 2 so this is equal to k a square b square over 24 and the limits from 0 to pi by 2 putting z as c sin square theta and then 1 minus putting z as c sin square theta i will get c c cancelled out so this is 1 minus sin square theta that means cos square theta and because there is also a power 4 here so i get cos to the power 8 theta right and dz as 2c sine of theta cos theta d theta right okay so taking this 2 outside so this is k a square b square over 12 right and also taking the c square outside this c and this c so c square is also outside and this is from 0 to pi by 2 so i get sine of cube theta and cos to the power 9 theta d theta right okay so if you notice here i can easily use now the reduction formula because i'm having the limits from 0 to pi by 2 so we are going to use the reduction formula now so this is equal to k a square b square c square over 12 what is the power of sine it is 3 so subtracting the odd numbers from this power so i get 2 that's it and then the power is 9 again subtract the odd numbers from this power 9 minus 1 is 8 and then 6 and then 4 and then 2 just adding these powers i get 12 and now subtracting the even numbers from this 12 so i get yes 12 minus 2 10 yes then 8 then 6 then 4 then 2 that's it and because the powers are odd so there is no need to multiply with pi by 2 so this is equal to okay let me cancel 2 then 4 6 6 8 8 and 2 5 so i get this as 144 and 5 20 720 all right so this is k a square b square c square over 720 that is the required mass for the tetrahedron that is bounded by the coordinate planes and the variable plane thank you